Good morning everybody, Orin Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and today's video is a very special one because it's a brand new feature coming to the channel where you send me some screenshots of your account and I say, based on what you sent me, I'm going to build teams for what I would play in PvE or PvP, whichever you want, and I wanted to kick this off with its own dedicated video. Normally, this is going to be, you know, one of those bonus segments that comes in at the end of the video as a special perk to members on the channel, but this one is going to be a follow-up to an account review I did back in June for Hated, who was a brand new player and went all in on Dark. So clearly, you see, the only level 120 units on this whole account are Joker and Little Leela the name brand version, which, if you're only going to have two, those are a pretty good two. But it takes a lot more than two maxed out units to build successful teams. So, we're going to just look at a couple screenshots from that account that were just updated and then I'm going to build a PvP and PvE team from what you see here uh, if it was me playing the account. So first of all, we're definitely going to focus on Leela and Joker's power. Two of the strongest units in the game. They are going to be the cornerstone of our builds when we get there. And then we will mix in from here. I will also give you tips in this as far as what I would be looking for for the future. Now, here's the rest of your dark account. I'm going to go ahead and throw one of those tips your way. Black Rose Helena would be an amazing addition to this account. Um, you already have her at level 60. Just keep working on her over time. Also, Dark Fina is coming down the line. Either one or both of those would be huge because they're both dark and they're both magic scaling mages. You kind of need that. So that's just a little tip for the future. Now for Espers, definitely going to take advantage of some strong Espers that you have here. You have Anima, Odin, Omega, Bahamut. These are all big ticket Espers right here. Something you're going to want to work on with your PvE team, like a definite goal for PvE on this account is going to be getting these to level 99. That's a huge power spike for you. I do see the level 99 behemoth as an MR at level 99. That is also going to be one of your strongest, uh, one of the strongest things in your account right now. I will take advantage of that in my team building as well. Um, for vision cards, man, you did it. Like, I was a little concerned, yo, when you see an account that's like so focused on one element that they might be missing some VCs. You actually have three level 99 dark vision cards. Awesome. Again, I think you're going to want a dark mage at some point to hold this, but we will overcome that for now with some like clever team building, I think. Then you have some other darks here, and then you start getting into some rainbows. Really, for being a new account, your vision cards aren't that bad, especially considering you're focusing on dark. So we'll take advantage of the power of those in the team building as well. Gear. Obviously, this is somewhere where you're going to be behind as a new player. Continue to farm out plus five gear. You already actually have a plus six sages hat, which is nuts. Um, you have a smart coat plus five. I would suggest right now, and in fact, I'm going to show this in team building. Go ahead and get yourself another smart coat plus five. Um, you're you're going to want another piece of cloth armor for your team. Uh, I'm gonna, so I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to assume you can build another one, and I'm going to take advantage of your TMR armors as well. For your accessories, you got bells. I'm proud of you. Good job. You got bells. I also like Sweetheart's Secret Pouch, and I like Star Burial Pendant for uh, some team building options here. So we'll use those. Then, great job on your weapons. Look at these plus five weapons. For an account this new, very, very smart weapon building right here. For any of the units you want to use right now, you really do have a plus five kind of ready for them or a TMR or something. So well done. Now, let me go ahead and open up the client here. I have prepared some squads for you and I want to show them off. Let's start with the PVP squad because I think this is the easier of the two to build with what you have. Here's the team I put together. We're going to use Leela and Joker, obviously in both comps. But in this one, we're going to use Leela Joker and take advantage of the level 99 shell that you have. Now, mine is only level 16 with only one vision card slot unlocked. Yours is actually further along than mine. The thing with Shell is she has sub-job time mage. We don't want Shell doing almost anything else except for quickening Leela or Joker. So, when you only have two really strong people like what you have that really synergize with each other, one option is bring in somebody who can just give them more turns. I think for PvP, this could be one of your best options right now. I also gave her 
uh, the Moonbow Battleware, so she can also be a nice AoE agility buffer for your group if that's something you wanted to do. Something you will uh, want to take advantage of is your good TMRs. This is a good one, so Shell could do that for you like early, then be casting Quickens. Because you lack like a strong dark mage to bring with your Joker and Leela, Shell can get take advantage of the speed from your Bahamut, and she will also benefit from the speed of the Black Rose of the Battlefield Vision card. It'll give this agility to your whole group, plus give the accuracy buff to the dark units. So really, Shell is a nice addition here. Alternatively, you could look to go outside of Dark, take advantage of both of these two um, Vision Cards and Espers, and bring in your Abara. You do have a pretty decent Abara at 107, but I really would like the focus of your team to be power up Leela and Joker to just hard carry. I think that's your best play. I would use Shell for that. You could also do this. Now, so remember, that's the one I'm recommending. If you wanted to get a little bit trickier, you could bring in your Shadow Links. You have a high level Shadow Links. You could bring her in here, have her get on, like, have her get Demon Chimera. Something else you could do in PvE right now would be go farm the Demon Chimera Esper and Vision card. They're available in the far plane for like 12 more days or something like that at the time of filming. You could bring her in. Now you don't have that yet, but you could just give her like Behemoth right now or switch, you know, Odin around with Behemoth right here. She could then still run this as an agility up card. Or if you go farm that Demon Chimera, it is a great also, um, option main slot here if you wanted your shadow links to be an evader because one of the plus five pieces of gear you have is the sage's hat plus six actually shadow links could come in here you know you would drop you would drop the tmr armor you would give your plus uh plus six sage's hat which i don't even have honestly so like you guys that's a thing you have that's better than mine but you bring that sage's hat in and you could look for like an occasional evade but I don't like to count on evade in PvP unless I'm really going all in on it. So since I don't think you can really go all in on it right now, I would use the shell option of these two and just really focus on Joker and Leela. Now, for PvE, I'm going to keep a lot of it the same, but we're going to bring in Shadow Links and your Renal. You have a high level Renal. I think, I think I'm saying your name right, right? Renal. Maybe it's Renelle. We're going to bring her in for you as well. And I have shuffled the vision cards up a little bit right here. What we're going to do, let Joker and Leela continue to be the focus. Let them wear their main vision cards. But well, on the dual card, we were running Omega right here. And then, um, also, I didn't say this. I was running Ifrit right here for your PvP team. For your six vision card, I couldn't show it because my shell didn't have the slot. But let's go ahead and give that attack buff to Leela and Joker. So that, that's that. Now... With the uh, PvE team, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in two more dark units to, again, take advantage of all that dark synergy. I'm going to move the Ifrit card into a main slot for one of these two, giving that bigger attack buff to the whole group. Then I'm also going to move a Omega to a slot one. I know your Omega is not done yet, but I do like that slash attack up. It also gives a really nice buff to any dark unit wearing it and has nice stat pool here. So I just think at this point, you're going to want to take advantage of as much power as you can. I don't know that you can really go for evasion. You can give your Shadow Links as much as possible and hope she can like buff her own evade and maybe get lucky every once in a while. But mostly it's going to continue to be all about Joker and Leela. In this case, you just have some nice backup damage and backup chainers right here with Renal and Shadow Links. Those build, have them build those chains in PvE so Joker can like be hitting those hard mobs. Like those, you know, level three Esper away. Awakening Chamber mobs. Those are really hard fights. Take advantage of that. Now, I have Shell in here still to be, uh, you know, quickening again. I think you could also here swap her out for a different mage. Again, your Abara is pretty high leveled and she would at least bring some damage to your group. You just don't have a ton of rainbow vision cards to take advantage of to build out a rainbow team. Where your account... So here, this is what I'd go for right here, right? If it was me right now, this is the lineup I would play and I would just try to like kill stuff as fast as possible because what you don't really have right here is much in the way of healing. If we bring up the screenshot of your account, you're lacking a couple of things right now. Um, I think those things are a healer and a tank. Now, you could level up like Prince Mont, Yoda 120 or something like that and go that route. 
but really you could also go for a, a support unit first a healer black rose helena in manual play does have the arithmetician sub job she can do healing for you that's another reason why i would like to see yours like continue to be a focus of what you're leveling if you can get her up there, like maybe once she's like level 99, maybe even level 89, if we jump back in here, she's the obvious replacement to Shell at that point. You can continue to let your other dark units do most of the fighting, but have Black Rose Helena sit back, again, wearing your strong magic stuff that you have already, and have her just be supporting your group through healing. I imagine one of the problems you're having with high difficulty PvE right now is once your units are taking damage, they just have that damage kind of permanently and then they eventually will die so you need somebody to bring some heals for you uh i don't really see that right now like i don't really see who's bringing those for you that would be a big focus somebody else that you could try to get and let me put the game back on the screen here um a decent alternative i don't know what your like mog metal situation is i know those are tight for a new player but don't forget that in here in these mog shops there are units if we go down far enough that um are permanently in the game Right, if you go to the friend shop, Ildira is a very, very good, like, pocket support healer who can also do some CT manipulation stuff. So, if you have 2,000 friend medals, you can snag Ildira, and you can snag up to 10 of her shards a day. Again, depending on what your friend medal situation is like. I don't think that would be a bad option. Um, in the arena shop here... Uh, you know, I wouldn't worry about any of this stuff too much right now. I do think Horn is a nice rainbow vision card at some point to have. The PvP shop doesn't have any. The guild metal shop, uh, you have Jiza in here, which you're already done with. And you could, I guess, I, one thing you could do is work on Whisper to have her be like a bruiser or like kind of semi-tank for you. That's an option as well. Um, don't sleep on the fact that like Finrear has shards in here if you ever wanted to finish that off as well so that's what i would be doing with your account um hated thank you so much for continuing to support my channel if you have any more questions we are friends on discord hit me up at any time send me screenshots of teams that you're liking to use and i will be happy to uh provide some input for those or kind of whatever else you want i'm not gonna show you my dark team that's like that's mean but yeah there you go thank you so much guys i hope this was enjoyable chat uh, comment section if you have other comments based on what you saw from the account and would like to chip those in drop those in the comment section i'm sure hated and i would like to read them and thank you for watching everybody i'll catch y'all next time peace